all collective welcome back to the ascended divination priestess channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. Um, real quickly, there's something where I picked up on. It's like there was some type of trap that was being set for someone. So it's like someone... There was some type of natural disaster that someone was doing. So it's like they were supposed to, they did something and then you were supposed to travel somewhere. And on your way to wherever you were going, there was supposed to be some type of entrapment taking place or some type of uncomfortable situation taking place. So it's like, uh, let me see. So it's like, let's say someone bust your tires or no. Let's say, I don't know what the example is to use. I'm going to just stick with that and try to make it work. Let's say someone busts the tires to your car and you got to take the car to get it fixed. On your way to get the car fixed, you get ambushed or something. It's something like that if somebody was trying to set up for you. So it's that somebody has been observing you and they see what role you take maybe every day or every time you got to go get your tires fixed, right? And so they do something where it's like they, call, they put some type of blockage so you're not able to go that way completely you're not able to complete your journey in that way so on your way to get the car fixed the car car tire replaced um there's some type of gate or something they've put in your way so that you're not able to go but and when you arrive at that gate and you notice that there is a gate there's some type of barricade that's going to block you from going any farther and you turn around to leave there's going to be someone there to surprise you trying to force some type of situation on you or just trying to do you something so that uh, you can either ex have some type of painful experience, uh, some type of just uh, uh, experience that's supposed to uh, undo you, like they're supposed to unalive you or just it, like uh, uh, just make you afraid or something of that nature. But it didn't go according to plan. It's something like that. Like you're being protected from, um, from your enemies by your ancestors, the universe. You have a lot of protection around you right now. And it may even be something where it's like your ancestors are showing you what people are doing ahead of time so that you know what what actions to take to protect yourself so that you don't end up in these crazy situations that people are trying to put you in. Because I feel like there's a plot to unalive somebody or just hurt somebody really bad. So pay attention to the signs and synchronicities your ancestors are showing you. If they show you that the path you usually take somewhere is being blocked or someone is doing something there, that means you need to take a different path. A path that's in the open where people can see you or something like that or change your form of transportation or something like that, okay? If you've been talking to someone and your ancestors are showing you that there's something up with that person, stop talking to them until everything is resolved, until things are out in the open and you understand what it is that's going on, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the tarot reading. I needed to get that out because I had a premonition where it's like, I saw like this uh, tunnel where it's like, there's a gate in the tunnel. Like, why would someone, why would, like, the people that built the tunnel, why would they put a gate in the tunnel? Like, it wasn't at the entrance of the tunnel. It was, like, in the middle or some, uh, some semi in the middle of the tunnel. Not that that even makes a difference. But it's, like, it was supposed to be where it's, like, oh, I'm going to go take care of my car, but, or I'm or you're walking on foot or something, but you get to the tunnel, the tunnel is closed, it's, it's locked, there's a gate there, so you can't go any farther. And then when you turn around, there's somebody there that shouldn't be there. It's something like that, or you're just supposed to give up on going to go take care of your car. Now you don't have transportation to get around or something like that. So I I, I, I had that premonition, so just be careful, you all, whatever it is you're doing, how you're moving about, who you're talking to, who you're reconciling with. There could be somebody from your past. I picked up on the King of Cups reverse trying to force his energy force himself into someone's energy is that you're going to reconcile with me one way or another or you can't be happy with anybody else and they say that's not even like the biggest fish you got to fry that you got bigger problems coming in um uh, compared to worrying about being back in somebody's life like you got bigger fish to fry you may want to uh 
to work on that. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get into the tarot reading again. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Uh, so there's some type of effort to keep holding on to something that belongs to you. Like uh, people are trying to keep you from being independent, but your your strength, your determination, um, your tenacity has someone trapped in their mind or trying to figure out what the heck did I invest in? Why did I invest in blocking somebody? Why did I invest in tarnishing somebody? Why did I invest in slowing somebody down? Why did I uh, invest in uh, blocking somebody's abundance, trying to hurt somebody and things like that? And this is the queen of pentacles that's going through this. There's some type of way that you move as the privileged lady, the woman of high honor, you collective. There's a way that you move that has this woman trapped in her mind. She's confused all over the place. Some may even have legal issues coming in for how she went about something. She may have pissed somebody off in an institution. So is there somebody pissing off your boss or their partner in business or something like that? Because it's something where it's like these people find talents. Uh, and this is what I've been trying to figure out why it is this woman has been coming after someone so freaking uh, strong and so intensely, right? Extremely going just going far and beyond to destroy you, block you, hide you, and things like that. And I figured out it's because this woman and another person, they take on talents. So they go out and find talents. Maybe the man goes out and finds the talents or somebody else goes out and finds the talent. This woman came across you or maybe he, he brought atten her attention to you and said, Hey, I think we should work with this person. She saw you. You may be very beautiful, very handsome, whatever the situation is. She got in her feelings. The little girl in her came out. The insecurities came out, and she decided she didn't want to work with you. Don't really have any legitimate reasons for why she does not want to work with you. It's because of insecurity, because of hate, some type of colorism, bigotry. It's everything. It's, it's all this woman is about. It comes from a community where it's a lot of superficial oddity going on. It's like, who has this status? Who is who? How much money do you have? Who do you know? What car do you drive? What clothes do you wear? What perfume do you have on? All the the the, 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 the irrelevant things in life is what they care about, okay? This woman does not have talent from what I've been picking up on. So this is this just somebody who like they in like the man or who whoever her business partner is, they may invest in people. So really what she does is steal from people from behind the scenes. She's been trying to steal from you, take something, take control of something that you've built by yourself. But she may have spun some type of narrative that you and her have been working together, that you and her came up with this business idea. She assisted you to get to a certain level or something of that nature. And then you went ahead and turn your back on her but you don't know this woman you never worked with this woman never collaborated with her never gave permission for anyone to be in your business or anything like that someone basically hacked your business and then they've been out here playing and pretending like you and them have been working together but you won't give them their share of the business or something or you just you cheated in a like she spun some type of dishonest narrative and maybe people have gone with that that's just an example i'm giving it could also be something where it's like someone feels that you are competition but the things you do this woman don't got those skills to do like since i'm a divination right i have all the four clairs and then some right this is someone that's pretending like she has the four clairs and then some, but she don't got no gifts because someone does not even reside in the energy that she needs to be in in order for her to, for her to have access to all of those gifts and things like that. So it's something like that is going on. So what she's done is spun some type of narrative to make people think that you stole from her, you took her ideas and things like that, but you don't know this person from a can of paint. Never worked with her. But some of you, if you do know this person, maybe you had a conversation with them once and that was it. If they became obsessed with you, whatever. But what I'm really picking up on is there is an institution where the either the gentleman wants to work with you, the feminine does not want to work with you because she's jealous. You're like a powerhouse. You're actually business savvy. You're actually the queen of pentacles in the upright. You are actually an empress. She's been pretending to be this. This is what I picked um is very insidious. This is an immature woman, an insecure woman that abuses her power because she has or she has a des uh, what is it? She has labeled herself as the the the, the uh, uh, head of an organization and she hasn't done anything to really be at that but in that position. I don't know if she had like some type of romantic situation with the owner of the company, whether they're married or maybe they've known each other for a very long time. She is showing up as the queen of pentacles, which means that maybe that is his wife or a lover. I don't know what the specifics are with them, 
but there is something where this woman has deemed herself superior to everybody else, but she hasn't really contributed much to the success of the company. It's more so she's taking from other people behind the scenes, lying, cheating, and stealing to stay and get ahead. It's something, it's what she's been doing, okay? There's something where this woman has been stealing from people time and time again and getting away with it, but you are the feather that broke the camel's back. I can guarantee you this woman is regretting everything that she has done to you because she's realizing that you're not going anywhere. You're here to stay. So someone may have been doing some type of slow down, slow, slow down his business, slow down her business. If you have a platform, slow down their numbers. Make sure it doesn't go above this amount. Something like that, just so that it'll get to a certain extent where you'll give up on your platform. You'll give up on making your products. You'll give up on writing your books. You'll give up on, you know, giving your speeches and things like that. Just very insidious, just very immature, very insecure. And this is someone that, whose mind is not even, like, developed enough to be the head or the face of a company. Like, someone is in a position because of association. Not because she's gifted, not because she's talented, not because of any of those things. It's solely because of association. That's it, affiliation. Uh, since it's a business, I'm going to go with affiliation. Association can be more so on the personal side. We're going to go with affiliation, which is business, is a, which is more so of a business term. Um, but it's solely because of her affiliation with this company that she has this title, she has this prestige she has this mindset this entitlement to herself and about herself not because she's like a powerhouse that she knows what she's talking about no 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 absolutely not absolutely not okay but because she knows that you are the real deal and she does not want you to come around she's been slowing you down so that whoever this is that she's working with one does not notice you, does not find out about you, may have even promised, made him promise not to look you up and things like that. I don't know if he's very, he's been very like stern that he wants to work with you or he keeps bringing you up and she's, she's made him promise that, oh, he's not going to look you up and things like that. And while he's making that promise, she's paying somebody to slow you down. Okay. So that he can see you, you're hitting in the algorithm and things like that, or you're hitting on what in whatever way in the company, if this is a nine to five, whatever this is, like she's literally paying somebody to slow you down so that you never go viral. You never go, uh, uh, uh what is it? Like, uh, um, your, your business does not expand because someone is solely intimidated by you. That's all. Jealousy, hatred, animosity, that's all it is. It ain't because you did anything to this woman. But she's been trying to keep you, you know, from being a, a, a sufficient, having a security in life, being abundant and all of that, trying to stop you from working. Now she's trying to figure out why the heck did I invest in this, working against this person, trying to sabotage this person, trying to end this person, paying to have people, uh, 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 Take this person out, block this person from being able to build, block this person from doing this, bullying this person. This is basically what she's been doing. And she may have pissed off her boss. I'm telling you, she may have pissed off her boss. Maybe he's aware of something and he's about to be out here bombarded side eye and her. Like, why would you do something stupid like that? Why would you slow this person down? Like, we need talent. We need money. This is money. You're, you're freaking... Like, like I said, they invest in talent. So you are the talent and she's been, she's been, uh, 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 destroying your business, slowing you down just so that you don't grow and you never go anywhere. Meanwhile, she's taking your ideas and, and, and regurgitating them as her own. But then the boss finds out and said, what the heck are you doing? Like, what's wrong with you? Are you stupid or dumb? It's something like that, that like, she's pissed off the wrong person. So more than likely, this king of pentacles or whoever it is she's been working with, because I feel like this is someone that's very business savvy, business oriented. She's about to lose her affiliation with him. That he's not about to be investing in nothing that she's doing. Uh, like she's about to be let go. Like someone is about to lose everything. She felt like the, the longer she did something, the harder it was going to get for you to keep posting, to keep selling products. And you will eventually just let go. You say, you know what? I don't see any type of money in here. I'm not seeing results. But people like this, they don't realize not everybody is doing things for money. Some people, they get out here because it's a calling. It's part of their journey. It's part of their life. 
to do what it is they're doing. So they know they may not be making money off of it right now, but the universe is going to take care of them. Okay? The universe is going to settle the scores. So you can take all the time you want, slowing them down, stealing their money, blocking their money, whatever it is, paying people to hack this, turn this off, make it difficult for them to get to here, make sure they don't get to here. You can do that all you want. First of all, it says more about you that you're insecure than it does about the person you're you're doing that to. But at the end of the day, the universe is going to make an example out of you because you're still going to have to sit down and watch that person elevate. You're still going to have to sit down and watch things be balanced out in that person's life after you don't went all out of your way to destroy everything that they've built. You're going to sit down and watch everything be uh, uh, fixed, be rebuilt, and things like that, okay? So I don't know what, why you're this insecure, but I want you to know everything you're doing, everything you've been doing, says a lot more about who you are, especially when it comes to character, maturity, class, and things like that. You got none of it, okay? So... Keep on going. But whoever you're coming after, they ain't going to stop doing nothing. You can keep invading their privacies, trying to figure out, are they still going? Are they still posting? They just, no, yeah, baby, they, they're going to keep posting. They're going to keep selling their products. They're going to keep writing their books. They're going to keep giving their speeches because that's part of their calling. It's not part of your calling. You need to go figure out how to fix your self-esteem so you're not out here taking from people, okay? The, the truth is coming out about a queen of swords as well in reverse. This woman is trapped in her mind. This is a practitioner in reverse, a high priestess reverse. This is someone that does nothing but manipulates. Lies, deceit, deception. This is all they do. These are people that are thirsty for power. Hungry for power. They want to have control over people's life. They want to be able to say, no, you can't have that. No, you can't have that. You can have this 25 cents. You can't have this $5. dollars like just, they just greedy and just immature and insecure. And people like this, they never realize everything they do says a lot more about them than it does about you. And the universe loves to make an example out of these kind of people. And that's exactly what is about to happen. It's like everything you've been doing, we're going to make an example out of you. There's something where whoever this queen of pentacles is, is losing quite a lot of money. Quite a lot of money. Okay, a whole lot of money. She may even be thinking about working with a king of pentacles now to tell the truth, to give you an offer, to do to do this for you, do that for you. They said, oh, let's go give them an offer. Let's go do this. Let's go fix this. And that man is probably angry with her and said, what is wrong with you? Why were you holding this person back? Why were you slowing this person down? We're trying to build a business here and you're out here doing this to people. Are you dumb? Or like he's... Someone is about to be pissed off with this woman and she don't even understand. Like, she's about to lose everything. Like, someone's about to file for bankruptcy. Then she's out here talking, oh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work with him. Let me go ahead and work with him so that we can go and balance this out. Um, but she's still trying to cause more, more deception. This is how damaged somebody is. This is like damaged goods walking, an empty vessel. The only reason she'll want to fix something is because she stands to lose everything. Position, money, prestige, you know, all the stuff that she cares about. The money, the finer things in life. She knows that she's about to lose it all. That's why she wants to now work with the King of Pentacles so that they can come towards you, tell you the truth about why something happened, why she did something, why she did it. Nobody gives to F. Stay where you are. If, if anything, if anybody is coming towards that Queen of Swords that I'm picking up on in the upright, it needs to just be the King of Pentacles. Because if you show up, it may be problems. It could be problems. So don't show up nowhere. Don't call that woman. Don't don't even think about that woman. Don't send her no emails, no text messages, no phone calls, nothing. Because somebody sees right through you. It's like, oh, 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 I'm going to lose everything. Let me go ahead and fix it. Let me go ahead and fix it. I can fix this. You can't fix it. You can't fix it. You cannot fix it. And I don't even think you and this person could ever work together in a company. You and this, per this, this, this uh, wealthy woman... The, the 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 divine energy you you can't you two cannot work in a company together it's going to, he's going to have to choose between you or that divine energy because people are divine but they're still human let's be for real divine beings they're still here in a in in, in a meat vessel so the emotions those meat vessels have Still applicable to the divine energy that's in there. So there ain't no way you and this person are going to work together in peace. It's going to be drama every day. Ain't no way. Like, yeah, we, we are all about, you know, business, 
putting business for it and then pleasure. But there's something you've done. You've taken something so far. It ain't no working together with you. So you, you, if this man still wants to work with this woman, he's going to have to figure out <laughs> it's A or B. And I, I, you're showing up as the queen of pentacles, so you could be his wife. It's best for him to go with you. That would be the smarter things to do. Smarter. That would be the smarter thing to do is go with your wife. Because it's that uh, uh, being one, right? Marri married and becoming one. The two shall become one is what it's symbolizing. So it's best for him to go with, with his wife, support his wife. Even though he's angry at whatever it is that she's been doing, it's best for him to stick beside her, support her, and whatever. I'm sure they can build their companies back from the, gra from the ground up. With this man, baby, I don't know what he's going to do. I just split the deck and it went on the six of swords. So I don't know what it is he's about to do. More than likely move on. This brother is pissed off as heck. Very angry. So I don't know what it is he's about to do. But you got problems coming in, lady. I don't know why you went this hard to destroy somebody else. Knowing very well you couldn't afford to. I think when you started doing something, you could afford to. But I think it got to a point where you knew you couldn't afford to do that anymore. So why would you keep doing it? I hear talking about keep going, keep going. I'm telling you, she don't got no genuine feelings. Still out here being a narcissist trying to stop you. You don't need no friendship from this person. None of these people, for real. Everyone, every one of them that's been coming after you, you don't need no friendship from them for real because they're all narcissists. Still out here trying to stop you. Block your investment, your work, and things like that. Make sure you don't get some type of offer and things like that. Okay? I'm going to go work with the king of pentacles so we can fix this. You can't fix nothing. They're still trying to block your ace of pentacles. That's how much she wants to fix it. She's still trying to block you from having wish fulfillment, from having abundance, from building abundance. It, this is sad and pathetic because it's that you got people that will get out here and build on their own. This is somebody that does not like people that build on their own. She wants you to be like bonded to something because she doesn't bring anything to the table. So she benefits from these talents coming in, but she ain't contributing nothing. All she does is yap. She has this connection. She has that connection. But talent wise, sis can bring nothing, can show you nothing. Manipulation is not a talent. It just says that you're incapable. So you'll do, you'll, you'll achieve it by any means necessary. That's all manipulation is. Mani manipulation is not a talent. It's simply saying I'm incapable. So I'm going to get it by all means necessary. You're incapable. You're a narcissist. Okay? Talking about you're going to go fix it. Fix what? Let me think about this. Maybe I should work with this emperor to tell this queen of swords the truth and come towards and give them some type of friendship and things like that. I'm so afraid to go towards this person. Don't go towards this woman or this man. Whoever you've been doing, do not go towards them. I, I promise you, don't go towards them. Don't do it. Do not do it. And don't even send your husband trying to tell him to go with, towards somebody with a lustful energy. Don't like you all need to sit down and come up with a better plan. Come up with a better plan. Okay, come up with a better plan. Because this kind of stuff don't even make no sense. Are you out here setting uh, ambushes for people that haven't done anything to you simply because you don't want them to thrive in life? You don't want them to be seen as the better option. You don't want people to know that you stole from them. You took from them. You don't want people to know who you are on a core level, that you are uh, uh, deceptive. That, 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 that does not call for a reason. That's, that's not a justifiable reason to be out here destroying other people's lives because you don't want people to see you for the monster that you are. Come on. You chose to be a monster. Nobody made you a monster. If you don't have a talent, go figure yourself out. Learn a talent. Learn a skill. And build off of that. Don't come out here trying to destroy people and things like that. Just out here manipulating all kinds of stuff. Just out here manipulating. You got that man mad. He ain't even... Like this man said, I'm not even about to be playing this nonsense. Talking about strategy, being doing things traditional. Like this man is like, you know what? To F for all of that... Uh, like a brother's about to be stepping out here and taking charge of the situation. Like, I'm done. I, I don't got no time for this nonsense. 
he's about to be breaking taboo basically I don't know who this is that's angry, but this man, whoever, this king of pentacles could be very angry with you. Yeah, angry. When he finds out the truth, baby, you're done. I I don't know if this is the, because I'm getting something where there's a king of pentacles that's been working with you as well. So I don't know if this is one that's trying to switch teams or something. Because something is not, he knows that you are not going to be successful at something. So maybe he's trying to jump ship, swim to the other, the other ship that he's been trying to wreck. It's like being in a, in a battle. The, the enemies, they're, they're shooting at your ship. They don't put holes and stuff in your ship. But somehow you've managed to patch up your ship and it stays afloat until you can get to your destination. Now something happens, right? Some, you know, natural disaster happens. Maybe a, a hurricane or tornado or something happens and their ship is just destroyed. I mean, it's in pieces, right? Maybe they're floating on these pieces or something or maybe there's a lifeboat or something, a, a life jacket or something and they're just in their water floating around. Not the king of pentacles that she's been working with to destroy you. Maybe he's afraid now. Oh, we're sinking. You know, like the Titanic. We're sinking. Oh my gosh, I got to make sure I go over here and tell them the truth. Tell them the truth for what? What what you gonna say? How is how does that even go? How does that how does that a uh, uh, conversation even play out? I was trying to destroy you. I did try to you know I did do things to to, to block you, hurt you, take from you. May even come with a few teardrops. Ready readily sitting behind his eyes to come on out. Like these kind of people, you gotta just feel sorry for them and pray for them because these are people that are just guided by money. Everything they do is about money. They don't care about people. They don't even care about each other. It's all a business transaction. The minute she says she don't got no money to pay him, maybe I can't be talking to you. You, you heard, Jay-Z. If you ain't talking money, you can't be talking to me. That's the kind of vibe with these people. It's all business. Okay? It's all business. But now their ship is sinking, which is what I'm picking up. Now he wants to come jump on your ship. Oh, the Empress, Star Sea, Divine Being. There's something I gotta tell you. What you gotta tell her or him? What you gotta tell the Emperor? What you gotta tell the Empress? Okay, that you're jumping ship. The truth is gonna anger somebody. Whoever the Emperor is that does not know what has been going on. Oh, baby, it's about to anger him. It's about to anger him. Somebody's about to lose a job. Like a J-O-B is about to be gone. And we've been told this woman, stop doing something, but she felt invincible. Maybe she's even caused this company to file bankruptcy or they're about to file bankruptcy. So now what, you're supposed to come in and fix it? Nah, that ain't how it worked, partner. That is not how it worked. She made her bed, let her live in it. Let her lay in it, excuse me. Oh yeah, you're about to live in some type of horrendous situation you've created for yourself. Look at that. Okay, out here mad because people are advocating for a divine energy. Mad because people want to support a uh, uh, empress or a uh, emperor. What is wrong with you? You've been coming after a queen of cups this whole time. Ain't bothering you. Queen of cups energy, they don't bother nobody. Those are the most, those are like the easiest energies to get along with. But the reason why you got a problem with them is because you're on heel on the inside. So when they express love, it bothers you. Because you're insecure. You don't know how to give love. And you definitely don't even know how to accept it. Love makes you uncomfortable. You're all about money. But not in the right way. You can't be that business smart. If you've been blocking the bag. Talking about you're trying to get the bag. You're dumb as heck. You don't get no dumber than this. Is that she makes me feel insecure. So let's go ahead and stop her. Let's go ahead and block this star seed. But you're not going to tell people it's because you're insecure. You're going to say, oh, they stole from me. They took my ideas. You know, they're causing problems in my relationship. They're causing problems in my institution. Hold on, the woman don't even know you, ma'am. What are you talking about? They start to see every time. You all, it's like a whole, like, it's like planets between the both of you. Don't know you. Don't care to know you. Don't know what's going on with you. 
maybe never even had a conversation with you or maybe had one conversation with you, whatever the situation is. But I guarantee you this woman don't know you on a personal level. Never did anything to you whatsoever. But you're out here with a sad story. You're playing victim. When I said this was a queen of cups, they're coming after. It's a queen of cups. It's a queen of cups. But this queen of cups is in her queen of swords energy. Because she's showing up here after truth. The ace of swords to the queen of swords. Now you got people in this community. Oh, we see the queen of, queen of cups as someone's genuine. We want to work. That queen of cups don't want to work with none of you. I, I can, if that person is anything like myself, they don't want to work with none of you. You can kick rocks and throw peppers. Don't want to work with none of you. This this whole time, you've been trying to stop someone from coming into a company, from having a position, from having something, and you don't know the whole time they don't want to be affiliated with you or if they are aware of you. So all you had to do was leave somebody alone. That's all you had to do was leave them alone. They didn't have no type of ambitions to be associated with you all. Nothing. There's a lot of cuff card out here, so I'm going to assume... That the Queen of Cups maybe has some type of interaction with you all in a place of work because we got the Seven of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles out here. It's a lot of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, eight, uh, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Lots of Pentacles cards out here. So more than likely, you all either work together or this had to do with a business deal, a business contract. And here come your insecure self immature self because you're working with people that are just like you trying to destroy somebody but the whole time the person you're coming after has no intentions of working with you because more than likely since they're showing up as a queen of cups they can see right through you all like the like, like a sparkling glass ain't no veil every day you all have been waking up for most of your life with a veil up there people can't see what you're about you know the queen of cups they they got their eye into the spirit realm so you can pull out the veils and stuff. Baby, you can put a brick wall up. They'll still see right through you. You say, oh, that's, I'm so sorry. I can still see. I see you. You're trying to hide your deeds. And that queen of pentacles, uh, queen of cups is out there like, uh, yeah, I still see you. I still see you. I still see you. Can't hide it. Yeah. All they've been doing is causing blockages and stillments. Confusion all over the place. Someone wants to invest in your business. They say, no, 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 no. They don't know what they're talking about. They took that idea from somebody else. They stole this from somebody else. Just confused and lying all over the place. They said, we got to come up with a way on how to stop this person from giving to her. We got to find a way to stop this person, okay, from giving to her. Stop, trying to stop you from being seen. Yeah, right here, right here, right here. To a source, to the page of source. Stopping people from seeing you, hiding you, blocking you. That's, that's what they've been doing. And they've had a lot of passion for that. This has been her number one passion. That is all she desires is to stop you from being seen. Stop people from being aware of you, knowing of you, knowing that you exist. Knowing that you are the originator of something. You are the original. Okay? You are the inventor of something. She don't even know what to do with what it is that maybe she stole from you. But as long as you don't have it, she's content. That's how broken and damaged this person is. Just insecure. As long as you don't have it, you can't. As, as long as you don't have access to it, I'm happy. As long as da 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 da, da I'm happy. Is that what the heck? As long as she ain't doing better than me, I'm happy. As long as nobody sees her, I'm happy. I'm pretty. I'm this. I'm this. Girl, grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Sounds so immature. Women like you are sorry excuse for the rest of us women. Make, give us a bad name. Not all of us are like this, uh, fellas. We, we're not all out here in competition with other women. We're not all out here trying to destroy other women. Some of us are actually out here trying to build each other up and things like that. That is nonsense of an excuse out here trying to destroy other people. That much you're trying to steal something from somebody. But you don't want to tell the truth about why you're trying to steal somebody else's shine. Because it's going to dull your shine that's already dulled. Is it somebody that enters the room? They got to make some type of noise so everybody can see her, can know that she's there. Maybe a queen, a true queen, they walk in the room, they don't got to do nothing. They don't got to say nothing. Their, their essence, <laughs> their essence will announce their presence. They're sitting like, oh, 
that goes to queen. When you gotta prove you're something, you know you're not that. You got people out here angry at a king of cups for putting something to rest and wanting to invest in somebody and wanting to balance something out, reconcile. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of anger for no reason. For no reason. Because somebody wants to heal. Because somebody wants to recover. Because somebody was wants to balance something out. I don't know if somebody's mother told him that you weren't good enough for him or something. Or somebody's family has been working very hard to make sure the two of you don't come together. Like, it, what the heck? Why do you all care? Is it because you guys come from the dark? I see the devil out here. You guys come from the dark. Somebody comes from the light. So that means light and dark cannot come together. If the two love each other, they have a contract together, the heck does it got to do with you all? That ain't your. That is not your place to tell them who to love and who not to love, who to be with. Go find something to do with your life. Somebody's mother out here is just out of pocket. Somebody's mom is out of pocket. Why are you trying to block your son's love life? What are you going to do? Sleep with him? No, you don't see how, how problematic that is? That you're that involved in your son's life? What kind of family is this? Where the mom can decide who her son can... What kind of family is this? I, I don't blame this freaking Queen of Cups when I'm wanting to be like associated with you all or even affiliated with you all. I don't blame her. What kind of family is this? Like you all got some type of mental illness. Come on. What the heck kind of family is this? Oh my God. This is repulsive. How do you collaborate against your own kind? Because basically, you've been going up against the, the King of Cups as part of your family. How do you go to this extent to hurt somebody that you call family? Is there no love in family? Is this all just about money? We got a lot of money, so we don't want that star seed in this family. So let's go ahead and destroy this connection. Not caring how it affects the King of Cups. Not caring how it affects the son or the brother or whoever he play, whatever role he plays in this family. They don't care about none of that. They only care that they're protecting the money. These are the people that are saying, oh, I think that person is going to steal from me. But the whole time, they're the ones stealing from you. The whole time. You know those people who, when they come over your house, something goes missing. And they're looking, helping you look for it. The whole time, it's in their purse or their pocket. This is one of those people. And this is family for this man. They help him look for the stuff that <laughs> they stole from him. They said, I'm missing my $100. Have you seen my $100? Boy, you're always missing money. You're always losing money. Whole time it's wrapped up in her pocket or his pocket. And they're helping him look under the couch, the cushions, lifting up vases and stuff like that. Just looking around with him. And he's just there. Man, thanks for helping out. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, I'm sure they are helping out. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. I don't know what kind of family this is, but I wouldn't want to be part of it either. At all. At all, at all. Trying to keep someone from giving to another person. Say, no, don't give to them. They're going to steal from you. They're not like us. You're damn right that she or he ain't like you. This is somebody in the upright. This is a star seed. They're definitely not like you. They are not going to this extent to interfere with anybody's destiny, anybody's abundance, to steal from any. They ain't going to steal from nobody. So you're damn skippy. They are not like you. Out here, Sunday, giving that uh, 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 just insidious vibes. We keep it, keep it in the family. I hope y'all don't even be sleeping with each other because that's that makes it even worse. What the heck is this mess? What the heck did I pick up? On? Baby, I can't even say pick up on because I've been picking up on you all for months. Like, what the heck is this? What is this? Can you all please explain it to the rest of us? Because why are why is a whole family coming up against their own kind? Why is the mother coming up against her son? Why is the sister coming up against her brother? Why is an ex-wife involved or why is a, a, a wife character? I don't know what this mess is. Uh, it don't went from business to personal. Like you are, your emotions get the best of you. You don't know how to focus on what needs to be focused on. <sighs> I'm worn out just doing these reads. And you all, I'm pretty sure you've picked up on, that. Like you all wear me out, wear me thin. That when I get off this table here, get up from this seat, this seat here, a lot of the times I got to go lay on my couch and just wusa, Just rest. Eat some white rice, vegetables. Uh, just 
try to, 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 to just meditate or something, just lay it on my couch and do nothing because your energies is bothersome. Again, why are you all this invested in destroying your own kind? Why is a mother this determined to block love from her son? That's bothersome. You don't see a problem with it? You don't see a problem with it. Like you're just so emotionally gone that you don't care if your son is happy or not as long as he's with his kind of the dark. He stays in the dark. I thought we tell our I thought we raise our kids to be happy. I thought we raise our kids to, you know, do what makes them happy. What do we tell our kids? As long as you're happy, kiddo, that's all that matters to me. When our kid comes and tells us, hey, I want to go be a firefighter. I, absolutely, kiddo. I support you in it. Whatever you want to do. I want to be with Bessie. Go ahead, kiddo. If it makes you happy, make sure be uh, Bessie is a good girl. Then she's going to treat you right. I hope Bessie's going to be a good girl to you and treat you right. That's all you need to be caring about. But I feel like something here has to do with money. And you people have more than likely been stealing from this masculine. So you know that if this star seed comes into the family, yeah, all of that is done. Operation stealing from the King of Pentacles or King of Cups over. Because that star seed is going to put him on game. It's a look, listen here, your mother, I, uh -uh. I know that's your mom, but let me help you real quick why she be acting like that. She's stealing from you. Your sisters, uh-uh. Let me hip you on game. You can feel how you want to feel, but I'm going to tell you the truth at the end of the day. You want to disown me too, that's fine. You want to, you know, break up, that's fine. But the star sea is going to tell you the truth. Stop giving to these people. Limit your access to your money. <laughs> okay? Whatever this is, it's insidious as it don't get more insidious than this. Family coming up against their own kind. That's, that's as dark as it gets. And you've gone to a far extent. You even you've even gone into this Starcy's family to get them to turn on him or her. Hey, I need you to vouch for me so that when he reaches out trying to see if he can work with this Starcy, you're gonna tell them what? Oh, you know, don't even bother. She's unreliable. She don't know what she's talking about. She's never been this. She's never been that. She's a a, a thief. She's this and she's that. She's unstable. So the families go along with it, or it could be a man they're doing this too. You don't want to co-workers, friends, strangers to all have the same narrative about somebody. And you are just out here, just a okay. Now that the cat is out the bag, oh, you wanna you're thinking about working with the King of Pentacles to confess the truth. We're going to go tell the truth about how we tried to stop you from receiving your ace of pentacles. And we tried to have you left out in the cold. We were doing a lot of manipulations, a lot of dark magic. We got a mag magician here in the reverse of the devil. So they were doing a lot of magic, causing a lot of manipulation, telling a lot of lies, taking a lot of reckless actions against a, a star seed. Just to block wish fulfillment. Block you from being seen. Block people from being aware of you. Block people from knowing that you exist. Okay, try to block your uh, passion and things like that. Now they're pissed off because a king of cups wants to put everything to rest. Because maybe he's realizing he compromised himself fooling around with you people. He said, oh, you mean I threw away my own destiny fooling around with this toxic family? Yeah, so it may be two different groups here. Okay, you got a king of cups and maybe partner up with a toxic family to destroy his own family. So basically he had a family with you, Starcy. And these people approached him with some type of proposal and he went all out destroying you. All out. And now that he wants to put it to rest and he's uh, trying to learn the lessons in life and he wants to balance things out with you, send you some type of communication and things like that. How, 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 how do you even fix it? Nobody knows. If it's meant to be, the universe will take care of it. So there's that one scenario. But then you got the, I don't know if this is a king of pentacles. Someone just, all they do is work. All he does is work. That eight of pentacles of the magician, all this man does is work. Don't pay attention to nothing else. Or if something is going on, he just acts like he doesn't know. He's going to keep his eyes on the work. Nothing else. Work, 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 work. That's all he cares about is work. And you got people stealing from him. People acting like they're friends and this and that. Eh, they ain't no friends or and if you got family like this, who needs enemies? 
friends like these who needs enemies. Okay? Just all working to get together. People from the Starseeds side, the family, friends, co-workers side, people from his side, all working together just to block a union. And it's all because this Queen of Pentacles thought of it. She was the... Uh, well, at least she, she innovated something. The demise of another person. Oh, she orchestrated the whole thing. Don't pay the Queen of King of Cups to to do you something. Keep going. <laughs> Trying to, trying to block a, 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 a reconciliation between two people. Keep going. Stop them from communicating. Stop them from reconciling. Block his number. Block her number. Make sure they don't communicate. It's like, what the heck is going on here? Why are you disinvested in destroying a union that you know is still coming together? <laughs> trying to keep this man from giving to somebody or keep a woman from giving to some. It said, we're going to keep you stuck in like this man you're never gonna give to you nobody's ever gonna give to you this is what they're trying to do and the whole time she's bothered she's worried she's like somebody's uh uh, uh she used to be confident the confidence is long out the window because this woman is being seen for who she is an insecure little girl playing dress up because mature women don't move like this mature women do not move like this they don't care what's going on in other people's life Who's supposed to be with who? How much money is on the line? This is all she cares about is money. And But someone don't know how to build by herself. And this is why she destroys other people that know how to build by themselves. So because she likes that trick, she likes that she likes that capability or skills. Oh, anybody she sees that's able to build by themselves, she makes it her mission to destroy them. You're not destroy them. You're not the first person this woman has done this to. And you and if they allow her to keep going, you won't be the last. But there's something about you being the feather that broke the camel's back. She saw a Queen of Cups and she said, oh, uh, it's, it's going to be easy peasy. We're going to destroy this one. He'll never find out the truth about her. We're going to smear her her name. We're going to make him feel that she's incapable. She's reckless. She does this online. Self, self, self. She does this. She has this problem. Got, got all of this. Like She's a problem. She's a problem. And then the battle started and she, wait, I thought you said this was a Queen of Cups. Oh, yeah, the queen, whoever this is from this woman's past didn't give you the full scope on whoever you were coming after. You said this woman was a queen of cups. Yeah, 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 yeah. She don't know nothing. She, she don't, <laughs> I don't know if he did it on purpose, but he didn't tell you everything. <laughs> he didn't tell you everything. <laughs> oh, gosh. You said she was a queen of cups. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's a queen of cups. She don't know nothing. I'm telling you, she's pretending. She don't know nothing she's talking about. <laughs> All you got to do is just say this to her and she believes it. <laughs> and play the number on you. You dumb as hell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a queen of cups. <laughs> they kept going in queen of yeah, she's meeting a queen of swords. Is that you? You said she was a queen of cups. You didn't tell her she was a. <laughs> she is not an empress. I'm telling you, she's not an empress. Whole time this man knows very well. <laughs> There's a whole empress you're coming after. And at any time, they will take on the characteristics of each queen within them to match you, <laughs> to to fix you. So if they got to be the queen of wands, they're going to be the queen of wands. If they got to be the queen of swords, they're going to be the queen of uh, swords. Okay, queen of pentacles, queen of cups. Is that what, which one do you want? Let me know so I can match it. Oh, Lord, I just heard you after. And it's not even from a place of ego with this woman. It's just you should have left somebody. Learn to leave people alone. When people are not bothering you all, we all have different callings in life, different purposes in life. When you don't know your purpose in life, that's when you think you have a place to destroy other people's calling. Like you're under some type of facade. You have a distorted mindset where you think you have authority to destroy other people's path. You, you want to have control over other people, but you don't bring nothing to the table. Nothing at all. I don't know why you're so intimidated by somebody else. You need to go and invest in yourself. It's called healing. The reason why you are so bothered by the energy that woman is in is because you know she's genuinely and authentically that. She ain't doing something for money because you do everything for money. 
someone put put a lot of work into themselves you refuse to do that you rather be out here manipulating pretending to be something you're not and never will be because you won't put in the work if you were to invest in yourself you know all the time the money the resources you've invested in destroying somebody else imagine investing just a little bit of that into yourself time money resources into healing your gifts who knows what you're capable of doing you never know because you're too busy focused on other people you're too busy focused on destroying other people stealing from other people taking from other people and you've probably been stealing from him too and he probably don't know it and he's there talking about loyalty loyalty or you're there spinning the, the the loyalty narrative but don't know nothing about it you've been playing chess and he's been playing i don't know what he's been playing checkers i don't know what you've been playing sir but maybe you've been there yo-yoing i don't know what you've been doing but you better start playing chess because your future is on the line okay anyways thank you for watching folks stay blessed i'll see you in my next read um, goodbye for now